Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of the Fire Truck Build Project. The first two episodes of this series have gone really well. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to do so. I'll leave the link in the top right corner. Today is going to be focused on water. This truck, as I mentioned in the beginning of this build series, was going to have a functioning water pump. Of course, this truck is not very big. I can show you that by just putting a common object, just like a tape measure, in front of it. You can see it's not a very big fire truck, so I can't really fit a big water tank in here. Before we get into working on the truck though, I want to show you guys what I've gone through with testing this setup for this truck. I started by buying this fuel tank off of Amazon a while ago before I even decided to announce this project on YouTube, and I thought that this might fit. Obviously it doesn't. This thing is way too big. I think this is a full a liter of water so this one's definitely not going to fit this will be saved for another project that i have in the works or something else that might still be related to this fire truck which i'll mention later then i got this little tank which is much smaller so this one's still too big because i can't get it to fit inside the truck as you can see it looks as if it would fit inside the cab and it would but the problem is the nozzle on the top it's too big and i can't cut it down really because i don't want there to be any leaking of water inside the truck because anything that's inside of there that i did not install is going to be not waterproof um, maybe a little bit water resistant but we really don't want to have any leakages because all these wires that are still inside the truck that complete the circuit to make the ladder work are still going to be very sensitive to water. So the final water tank that I got for this truck, which will work, is this water tank that I got from a company called Dubro, uh, but the tank seems to be in pretty good condition. Uh, also, I got this from Amazon. Uh, it seems to be pretty well built. Don't think it's gonna have any leaking. And it's also got these two brass tubes that come out of the front that will be super helpful in getting the water outlet out the side of the truck so that way we can fill it from outside. I've also got this silicone tubing. Uh, part of this is going to be running up the ladder and out the bucket. Uh, so that way that's our hose that's going to stream water out the top. Uh, also some of it has to be connected from the tank to the water pump. And then this guy right here is going to be inside. This is basically going to connect the brass tube on the inside so that way we can fill the water uh, from the outside of the truck. And you guys will see how all that goes together shortly. My main plan is to fit this brass tube through this little hole that's already on the fire truck. And then when it comes time to fill the truck from the outside, we can hook up part of the silicone tube right here on this outlet, like so. And you can see how that will be just like a regular fire truck. The water pump I'm working with, I also got from Amazon. This is a little electric water pump that I found for a really good price and it works really well. I've tested it just by directly plugging it into a battery uh, and it works very well. This is the input and then this is what comes out. So this is gonna be mounted right above our drive motor in the back uh, and that's gonna be located right under the ladder. So it won't really have to direct water too far to get up to the ladder. Uh, and that's what we really want. It's powerful. I've seen videos where this has been used to make water guns and it works really well. So we're going to be using this guy here. And basically how the system is gonna work is we're gonna have the water tank mounted inside the cab, kind of like so, with some Velcro, just in case I need to remove it while I'm still working on the truck. And then uh, this brass pipe that's bent is gonna be sticking outside of the side of the truck. This one is going to be led with a hose going to the water pump that's in the back of the truck and then out the top the pump is going to pump the water up the ladder and out the bucket. It sounds all complicated as I'm describing it, but I promise it's not that hard. Let's get started so that way we can see how this thing is going to go together.
Okay, so pretty much all the water setup is done. The only thing I need to do is I need to connect power to the pump motor, which I originally had done and it was working, but this little switch that I bought, this little electrical switch actually broke already, which shows the quality of it. So I'm gonna be returning this because that didn't work very well. I need to either get another one similar to this or I need to get something else that I can use. For right now, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because I will get power to it at some point. If you guys have any advice you wanna share with me about getting power to the pump motor, certainly you can uh, leave a comment in the comments I'd love to hear your opinion on that but for right now let me just go over a quick overview of what I did uh, right now we've got the hose that comes up the ladder uh, it sticks out the front of the bucket right here it is a little bit long right now but it will be trimmed once the project is done I just want to leave it all together just in case I need to do some modifying right here we have our exterior outlet which is with this little piece here that I can use as an example, uh, when it comes time to fill the truck up, we're gonna put this hose right over that, and that will be how we uh, can fill the truck from the outside. On the inside, you can see that the wire, the hoses are all connected. Uh, what we've got is we've got the tank, which is pretty much vertically standing on Velcro, so it can be removed. The blue hose right here is the external fill-up. Uh, the water, when it comes through here, is gonna come up and fill up into the tank, and then this white hose comes down through to where the transmission actually is and comes to the water pump. The water pump then pumps the water up and out the top of the hose and that's how we get the water. So that's pretty much what it is. The only thing, like I said, is it needs to have power going to the pump motor. I also already hooked up the positive and negative wires on a receiver plug for the pump motor, so that's actually already good to go. All we need is another piece like this. So I'm gonna be keeping you guys posted on the situation of getting power to the water pump motor, and I'm gonna be doing that by putting some community posts up on my channel, so be sure to check for those. Until next time, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.